Hello, it is Steve and Suzanne from Our Little Camper Adventures. We are underway to go to the Adirondacks. Here's our dog there. Steve's driving. And unfortunately it's raining, but hopefully it'll clear up when we arrive. We are going to the Moose River Plains Free Campsite area. Hope you guys enjoy our video. Welcome to our little camper adventures where we put a lot of fun into a small space and have the time of our lives. Moose River Plains is a large forested recreational area with gravel roads, hiking trails, and primitive campsites in the heart of the Adirondacks in upstate New York. The main road is a 23 mile long seasonal road that stretches from Lime Kiln Lake on the west to Indian Lake on the east and is also called Lime Kiln Lake Cedar River Road, aka Moose River Plains Road. We enter the area from the Indian Lake side going west on Cedar Creek Road. There are more than 100 designated primitive campsites along the way, some in sun and some in shade, and since we wanted a site in sun for our solar panels, we found an available site and set up camp for a few days. Hello, welcome back. We're going down Cedar River Road here in the Adirondacks, heading toward Moose River Plains. The road is kind of bumpy, but that's to be expected. going down Cedar River Road, went through Indian Lake first, and then you go down Cedar River Road, and then this will turn it into a gravel road, which will be a lot bouncier than what it is now. I want to see the sun set over the ocean, feel warm sand between my toes and have my heart. Stolen by a beautiful girl, I want to kick back, relax, and watch all the clouds skate beneath the stars and hear the waves crack to the beat of her heart. There's no one else around but her and me. There's no He's definitely gonna need a bath. How's Beard doing? Do you like this place? I get no answer from the peanut gallery. I assume that you you, you love it. Cause you're nice and relaxed. You feel good. Yeah, this is our bear. Full of grass. He doesn't care. Gonna be alright. I'm yours, your mine. I love this once in a lifetime We're gonna be alright Even on the line Cause I love this once in a lifetime I said it once I'll say it time and again 
So we feel like we are in the middle of nowhere. Um, what you hear in the background is the car engine running so we can get Starlink and send some messages to family just to say that we're here and that we're okay. Otherwise, it is so quiet. Only a few cars went by. I think the noisiest thing that we've had so far are all the buzzing of the, oops, there was one of them in my hand. All the buzzing of the mosquitoes attacking is insane. Even after having bug spray on, they are going nuts. We have a screen tent, which um, we've been sitting in for a while. There's their site. Um, we've been sitting in that screen tent for a while and uh, feeling much more protected from all these bugs. But this is the road that we take or took to get in and just miles and miles and miles of gravel dirt road with not many cars going by. We love it so far. So this is how we are getting internet in a remote campsite here in the Adirondacks. We just have to figure out the power situation. We can use the camper and the inverter, but we don't want to waste the power in the camper. And we're just running the car at least for right now just to see if it works, and it works. So far, so good. So this is our big boy Rottweiler mix named Bear. He's kind of camera shy, but we're all getting attacked by mosquitoes. <laughs> it is insane, but we love it here so far though, otherwise. So I'm taking Bear for a walk. Haven't seen a soul around here. Hey Bear, can you say hi? He's a good boy. Just walking with Bear. Yeah, I know he knows where he's going already. Here's our campsite. Sorry, we didn't take out the gimbal. So here's the big boy. Take him on me for a walk. Here's your campsite. Yep. Enjoy life. Well, good morning. Steve got up early this morning. He took Bear out for a walk and now Bear is getting his breakfast. Relaxing on the bed. Well, I hope it will continue to be sent off today. Out for a walk with Bear. Had a good morning. Still having had breakfast. It is a gorgeous day. There's our campsite. Go down to the water. There's a good time. He, he loves to sniff. And he. Sorry, we won't get that part. <laughs> Out for another beautiful walk here in Moose River Plains. Got up, had some breakfast, now I'm walking bear. It's just beautiful here. Nice beautiful reflection. Love it here. Alright, cheers.
And here's our view from the screen tent. I feel very protected from the bugs. We have quite a bit of a mosquito issue here, um, but still a really nice view just hanging out out here. We're inside our screen tent and we are covered with dragonflies. So I took a little stroll down from our campsite and came down by the stream that is running behind our campsite, just down a hill. It's beautiful. It is a gorgeous day today. I'm just up here inspecting our roofs and also tighten up the WeBoost antenna um, for traveling for tomorrow. Got a little loose with all the bouncing getting to this campground. So um, we're going to uh, make sure everything is secure. So we're using the solar. We have solar on the roof, but just because we have the inverter on, we have the extra panel out, especially since we have a lot of sun. Um, we want to try to power the Starlink so we can check some emails or respond to texts. Stretch. Good boy. Good stretch. Yay. Yay. Oh, good stretch. Good boy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was cute. Yeah, Go see dear. Let's stretch. Can you stretch? Stretch. Stretch. Oh, I know. Good boy. <laughs> okay, good boy, all done. He's like, no, I want something now. <laughs> Aaron Andrew's hanging out, having fun. He's a little camera shy. Yep, but he's being a good boy. Yeah, he is. This is our bear. He's a good boy. One of the tools that we use for getting the fire going. Bought it on Amazon. Love it. Head by the flames. We started things the old fashioned way. We use flint and, uh, to get things started and some cotton balls um, with some petroleum jelly. We don't use the um, what we call Boy Scout fluid, which is like, you know, gasoline or something like that. So, lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. But um, that's one of the tools that we use. Another tool that we love are these grabbers. You don't have to get anywhere really near the flames if you're just not wanting to get burnt, um, but love them. And then obviously we've got a splitter right here, which is awesome because that really gets things um, small and you can kind of start small and build yourself up like you normally should for a fire fire. Steve is hard at work getting a fire going so we can have dinner. We're gonna have similar to what we had in Catalucci. It's gonna be veggies with some seasoning, cooked it in the Dutch oven and then over the fire. And then I put in some chicken and then when the chicken is done, I usually add a little bit of some flour to thicken up if there's any liquid in there. Add some cheddar cheese, melt that, and it is to die for. Um, certainly the chicken's got some ranch dressing on it. There's Steve. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, I'm just sitting here having a kind of beer hanging out. Steve's getting the fire going so we can get dinner on the on the fire. And then we also have our big boy bear who is just relaxing and enjoying life. He just loves the outside and he loves the cool temperatures. Don't you big boy? Yeah.
And this is gonna be scrumptious. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to a good meal tonight. Where are we? Where are we? Taking Bear for another walk. Today is turned out to be a nice day. It started out kind of cloudy, a little chilly, but it's beautiful. Sorry for the bouncing. Kind of walk Bear after his dinner. This is beautiful. Tell you what you want to know. Some people tell you what you need to know. Come fast, the foolish way. Good morning, we are packing up. This is our last day here in the Adirondacks in the Moose River Plains. We already started packing up some of the screen tent stuff and just gonna be the screen tent and then the camper and then we're gonna head out. I'll be the one by your side Through the good and the hard times when we're last We're hurting I'll be the one that you need Through the love and tragedy When we're winning When we're losing Take my He is full of welts. We did have a screen tent, which really did help. Um, but when we were breaking down or walking around the campsite without the screen tent around us, we were getting murdered. But that's what happens this time of year, apparently in the Adirondacks. And there is our bear. Hopefully he had a good time too. Checked in on our way in, obviously, and we're at the checkout. We just want to well, make sure for safety, that's safety good. first. That's good. Signing in, we only stayed for a few nights, so we really didn't need to have any kind of permit. 
but if you plan on staying for a period of time, like two weeks, I think you need to have a permit. And I don't know the information on how to get that permit, um, but I'm sure you'll be able to probably find it online. And this is the map of Moose River Plains. I'm gonna sign us out and continue on our way. So we're on our way home. We had a great time except for the bugs, but had a good time. Thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. That'll really help us out. And hopefully you guys will enjoy Moose River Plains. Happy camping. Thank you. Bye. Our sweet dog Bear has been camping with us for many years now and was diagnosed with lymphoma shortly before this trip. After being started on pain medications, he perked up and looked more comfortable. However, little did we know that this would unfortunately be his last camping trip with us. Bear was a very special dog to us and he will be missed greatly. Thank you for watching our little camper adventures. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with others. Leave a comment so we can get to know you better. Thanks again.